At this time, I would like to recognize our distinguished guests. Here on the stage, we have our Harrison County Commission President, Ron Watson, and Acting Secretary Mary Jane Pickens from the Department of Administration, and last but not least, Honorable Earl Ray Tomlin, Governor of our great state. So again, welcome everyone, and I will now turn the program over to Commissioner Ron Watson to say a few words. Thank you, Mayor, and it'll be a few words. I will be very brief. I'd like to share just a few remarks and a few look back at time. First of all, I'd like to thank the leadership of Clarksburg, and especially my friend, Michael Romano, who served with me as a commissioner prior to going down to Charleston as a senator, for their never giving up attitude in bringing about this state office building and the services that they bring back to where it all started, which is the city of Clarksburg and the county seat of Harrison County. This certainly adds to the continued revitalization efforts of downtown Clarksburg. And within a couple of blocks uh, from here, the citizens of Harrison County truly have a one-stop government complex. That is the feds up on uh, Pike Street and the state, county, and city of Clarksburg services here on Main Street. I remember as a young boy from Lost Creek, Clarksburg was the main attraction. On Saturdays, my grandmother would take me on a bus to downtown Clarksburg where for 10 cents we'd go to the Moore's Opry House see a movie and before returning home spend a quarter at uh, Woolworth's five and dime store buying a submarine before we caught the bus back home. I also remember the elders sitting on the walls of the courthouse trading pocket watches and knives and sharing their tales of the days that have passed. I, remind, I remember riding the school bus to the health department, which was located in our courthouse, for polio shots. And as a 16-year-old taking my driver's test, which is now we can take here, but was at the back of the courthouse. And I remember Trooper Arthur very, very well, Trooper. I had to take my parking test twice and he was also the one who gave me my first ticket, speeding up Bridgeport Hill. In closing, thank you, Governor, for approving this location. As community leaders of today, we are determined to pursue, pursue a better tomorrow for the citizens of Harrison County. Thank you. And with this, I'll turn it over to Secretary Mary Jane Pickens for her introduction of the Governor. Thank you, Commission President Watson. We would also like to express um, our gratitude to the citizens of Harrison County, as well as all of the state employees and business partners who've worked tirelessly um, to make this project a reality and to make it possible for us to be here to dedicate this beautiful and functional facility today. As the acting secretary of the Department of Administration, uh, my department has been actively involved in the planning design and construction of this new state structure that will um, serve as a central location for many of the needs of the citizens of this county for many, many years. Uh, we also applaud our employees of the General Services Division who worked continuously with the building's architect, Alpha Associates of Morgantown, the contractor, Mascara Construction Company of Pittsburgh, Mayor Goings and the City of Clarksburg and the Harrison County Commission to make today a, re a reality. I also commend our real estate division who coordinated the placement of the agency tenants that are in this new building for their spacing needs so that they could transition smoothly from their old facilities into their new environment and begin serving the citizens of this area. I can proudly say that we're all celebrating the success of all of these combined efforts. At this time, um, it is my distinct privilege and honor to introduce the one person who continues to set the example of strong leadership and service to the wonderful state of West Virginia. Please welcome the 35th governor of the great state of West Virginia, the Honorable Earl Ray Tomlin.
Thank you. Uh, thank you, Secretary Pickens, for that uh, very ca kind introduction. And thank all of you for being here today uh, as we celebrate the dedication of the new Clarksburg uh, State Office Building. Uh, as I look around, I see so many familiar faces and friends, and uh, you know, especially our uh, Senator, Mike Romano, our uh, delegate, Tim Miley, and I guess there may be other members of the legislature here, but uh, it's these gentlemen and ladies that uh, serve in the legislature that really you know, determines a lot what a governor does, and obviously they've been very, very supportive of this project uh, that uh, from the very beginning. And I'd be remiss if I didn't say uh, hello to my good friend, uh, uh, former Mayor Bailey. She was one of the first people I met up here when I first came, and, and she and I think everybody was on the same card about three things that we needed in Clarksburg. One was Chestnut Road, for Chestnut Street fixed, we need Highland Hospital done, and we needed a new state office building. Well, I informed the mayor I've delivered on all three projects. Got 73 days to go. Aren't you proud of me? I got them all done. So. Thank you. I'd also like to recognize our representatives uh, here from our Department of uh, Health and Human Resources, uh, the Division of Motor Vehicles. Uh, uh, Pat, uh, Secretary, our Commissioner is here. Uh, Workforce West Virginia, the Division of Rehabilitation Services, and State uh, Tax Department, along with the State Auditor's Office, all who will be operating out of this one location. And I want to thank them and their employees for the support of, their st of our state and our citizens. And I want to thank you, Mayor Goings and the City of Clarksburg, for welcoming this project with open arms. And the Harrison County Commission, Mr. President, for your continued support. You've always been there. Yet today is an exciting day for the citizens of North Central West Virginia and the city of Clarksburg as we celebrate greater access to essential state services for all West Virginians. This new 76,000 square foot facility will provide the residents of Harrison County one easy to access location and help stimulate economic growth in the downtown Clarksburg area. The state has invested nearly $25 million into this project because it is an investment not only for the city of Clarksburg, but for the entire state. A total of about 180 state employees will be relocating to offices in this building. And currently many of these agencies operate out of privately owned offices leased by the state. By relocating to state-owned facilities, more resources can be targeted toward the benefit of West Virginians. The employees who will staff these new offices have been preparing for months so that the transition can be as seamless as possible. And I'd like to recognize the hard work and dedication shown by each of these state agencies who are committed to serving our state citizens as they relocate the entire complex operations to a new environment. <clears throat> Let's have a little hand for our state employees. Well, since becoming governor, I've worked to ensure the state government works for all West Virginians through convenient services, like the Division of Motor Vehicles self-serve kiosk that was just uh, kicked off here a few weeks ago. But because <clears throat> the ease of access is paramount, as we continue bringing services closer to the citizens where they live and work. From economic assistance to license renewals, DHHR and DMV offices will continue to provide these critical services. Workforce West Virginia will continue to get West Virginians back to work. The state tax office will use the additional space to work more closely with taxpayers and train employees while the new location for the Division of Rehabilitation Services and the State Auditor will make it easier for clients who receive services from multiple state agencies and now all accessible here in the same physical location. So today represents another step forward for fine-tuning our state government so that the state, of, uh, West, the state of West Virginia works for all West Virginians. Again, I want to thank you all for being here and for making this day possible. And I'd be a little, a little bit remiss if I didn't mention a good friend of mine, Andy Nicely. When I first started campaigning back in 2010-2011, he was with another publication over in Fairmont. 
And every time I'd stop by to see him, he'd say, see that old building out there? That's where I want that new state office building. So finally we awarded the contract for Fairmont. What did he do? He moved to Clarksburg. Then he's asked me about this Clarksburg building every time I come up. But yeah, it's great seeing you, Andy. Thank you all for coming today. And we'll turn it back to Mary Jane. Thank you, Governor. Again, we'd like to thank everyone for coming to this very special dedication today. Um, we are going to have a ribbon cutting ceremony next, but a few administrative matters before we do that. Uh, we want to remind everyone that there are refreshments inside the uh, front door in the lobby um, that will be a, a available immediately following the ribbon cutting ceremony. We also want to make sure everyone knows that tours of the facility are available and we've got two very nice men from DMV, Cecil Lloyd and Tom Johnson and they will give tours and they'll have uh, building representative tags on so you can find them if you'd like a tour of the facility. We also want to express special appreciation to Alex Mazza, a senior at Notre Dame High School for participating in today's ceremony. We also want to thank um, all of the legislative leadership from Harrison County, uh, some of, of which are here, uh, but we wanted to specifically mention Senator Doug Facemeyer, Senator Michael Romano, Delegate Danny Hamrick, Delegate Tim Miley, Delegate Patsy Trecost, and Delegate Terry Waxman. Uh, we wanted to um, also acknowledge Rick Colbank and Rebecca Key, who are from Alpha Associates, the architect, and Mike Kane, who is from Mascaro Construction Company. Also, um, some, of, some folks have been mentioned already, but uh, we want to recognize Danny Morgan, who is here from the tax department, uh, Claudia George from Workforce West Virginia, Gentry Klein from Division of Rehabilitation Services, Commissioner Pat Reed from DMV, and from our General Services Division, we have Bill Berry, um, Bob Krause, um, and David Hildreth is here from our Real Estate Division. I'm sorry, and Secretary Burdett from the Department of Commerce. Um, and with that, we'll move on to the ribbon cutting ceremony. We do want to once again extend, extend gratitude to Governor Tomlin for his leadership and his commitment to offering services to Harrison County in this new um, and wonderful state office building. So at this point, we will move to the ribbon cutting ceremony. <laughs> 